Today we're going to be going through every character's ultimate activation works the best and the factors that we're going to be using to determine this are the ultimate activation speed, how much damage it does, and whether or not it stuns the player. So with that being said, we're going to have to get into our worst ultimate activation ability, which I'm going to say is Saitama's ultimate activation, literally because it does nothing like at all. Look at this. L let me see if I can go over to this dummy and use serious mode. It does nothing. It does no damage. It doesn't stun them. Yes, fast. It's the fastest ultimate activation in the game. But the second somebody sees you do this, they're running the opposite direction. They're not going to fight you. The only time someone is going to fight you is if they're new to the game. Like, bro, every factor that we're using to judge, like, bro, every factor that we're using to judge these ultimate activations, Saitama does not check any of them other than the speed. That's it. He does nothing else. It is so trash. Like, I straight up can't think of a pro, like, at all. <laughs> like, I can't think of one other than the fact that it's fast yeah so th there's really nothing to say about this one so yeah saitama's ultimate activation is the worst like y'all can't even argue with me in the comments for that this is garbage so with that being said we're gonna have to move on to our second worst ultimate activation which i'm gonna say is genos and the reason i'm putting genos at this spot in the list i think it does a bit of damage like a very little chunk of damage let me see if i can actually test this this guy's at 16 health okay it's 13 and we use ultimate oh that wait wait a minute how much damage was that? Wait, we need to try that again. Hold up. Remove awakening. Uh, no awakening. Let me just respawn. Oh, oops. I did not mean to spawn a wall. Uh, okay, so. All right, so if I activate awakening right here, how much damage does this do? That is that, what, 16% damage? Now, usually, when you are close to Genos, which is very rare, it takes a little bit of time for it to actually hit you, and I think you have enough reaction time to back handspring out of it whenever he does it, but it doesn't really stun you at all. It rolls you back, but that's literally it. Plus, whenever the activation does happen, you are able to get away from him for a little bit, but he has this, so I don't really know if you can run far, and I think they did that on purpose, because if they made it to where you get stunned after you use your ultimate with genos like bro it's, it's raps it's ggs it's game over but if i use ult and i'm right here like i think it does the same amount of damage i don't know if it's different let's actually test that yeah so when they're farther away it does a little le wait no it doesn't do less damage it's still 16 percent okay and that's still yeah that's still a very good amount of damage the only reason i'm putting this this low on the list though is just because the stun you can't really do anything after it like it's not a lot you can do so with that being said now we're gonna have to get into our third worst ultimate activation ability and I'm gonna say it's Metal Bats. Now, let me actually click the character first, but the reason I'm putting him at this part in the list, he does have damage, he has stun, and it's not slow at all. It does not take too long. It doesn't have some crazy animation. Yes, bro gives himself a hemorrhage concussion and he gets ligmatized, but if you use it and you're near some people, it will, and I mean, it will stun at a very nice radius, and it does more damage than Genosis. That's 18%. Now, I don't know if it's different whether you're far away. I do know that if you use your ultimate and you're a little bit far away they will roll instead of actually being stunned but if you use ultimate after like a down slam then you can definitely get some good damage in there and then you can do combos with like savage tornado like it really it really doesn't even matter and they stay on the ground for a good while but not as long as the next person on this list and for their ultimate activation i'm gonna have to say if i can reset my character thank you game i'm gonna have to say that it's blade master and the reason i'm putting blade master at this part of the list the speed of which he uses his ultimate is so slow i can run so far away from this and not get hit but if you do get hit by it it does so much damage and you're on the ground for a good three seconds like you're on the ground for so long i think that was like 30 something percent like 36 no 35 has to be i don't know my math not good people this ultimate activation is very good in terms of damage and you can on you might be able to use it as a combo if you down slam somebody and then use ultimate but again it takes so long for it to activate that i genuinely believe you'll be able to run away before it actually hits you there have been multiple times where i've seen people use ultimate and they've been able to kill like two or three people in a row just because they were low and they decided to run into an oncoming fight and just spam ultimate so it's very versatile in that aspect see if i use my ultimate about right here i don't know if it'll actually hit them but if it does that means it has a very very far like bro that is wild are you serious and that does so much damage that is so crazy the only reason i'm putting it a little bit lower is because how long it takes to activate if you're oblivious to this guy using ultimate then yes you will get molly whopped thoroughly but if you know that he's using ultimate dude dude it is you could walk away you don't even have to dash do no back handsprings nothing you could just walk away and be perfectly fine even if the range is very far because that's how long it takes so the stun is good the stun is excellent the damage excellent but the speed kind 
kind of brings everything down to about B to C tier. But with that being said, now we're going to have to move on to our second best ultimate activation ability, which I'm going to say Garo. And the reason I'm putting Garo's as the second best is because you actually have some combo potential with it, believe it or not. If you are fighting somebody and they don't have ragdoll cancel and they're low and you have ultimate, you can do a down slam and immediately use your ultimate and they're not going to be able to run away. It literally does not matter what character they are. They can't run away and they were at 86 percent health now they're at 56 so it does 30 percent damage a little bit less than blade master but you are able to combo with this ultimate if the person doesn't have ragdoll cancel and if they do you can still immediately use crush rock to pursue them after using the ultimate and when i'm talking about combo potential it's not really a combo but you can follow up the ultimate activation with an ability so let's say i activate my ultimate i'm gonna have to switch characters every single time but let's say i use ultimate near this guy he doesn't have ragdoll cancel he didn't run away he's just right here as soon as he hits the ground, I can just walk over and use Final Hunt. Bro's dead. Plus, the area of effect for Garo's ultimate is so large, and you can actually kill a bunch of people with it if you're in the right setting and if you're around a bunch of people, right? I will go to a group of people that have about like 50, 40, 30% health and just activate ult right in the center of them. Then, if I don't kill anyone, I can still use Final Hunt. The area effect of Final Hunt will affect everyone around them, and I can use Crush Rock to pursue the people right after the ultimate to kill them. So, this activation is is very versatile in terms of that but when you do use it it does take a little bit to activate you are able to run away from it if you do have ragdoll cancel and if you're fast enough to notice that it's happening and if you have your dashes because sometimes you'll just get unlucky and you won't have your dashes and you'll still get caught up in it but there is an ultimate activation which has movement it has stun it has damage and it has very high combo potential and i think you guys know what i'm referring to the best ultimate activation in the whole history of the strongest battlegrounds yes i just put reverb on my voice i don't care i'm gonna say it is speed a sound sonics now this is very close between garo's and sonics and the reason i'm putting this one above is because of the movement and because of the damage now i'm not sure if the damage is higher than garo we can actually test this right now but it's literally just the fact that you can move around with it like you can pursue someone during your ultimate activation and possibly kill them during it like okay this guy's at 38 percent health let's say i use ultimate if i can actually find the button i always lose it, give awakening and we use it so keep in mind he's at 38 percent if i go around him this dude went from 38 to four to four 34 percent and bro we haven't even started the ultimate for real and now i did say it stuns him it kind of stuns him he's not on the ground completely but right afterwards bro right afterwards either that or straight on and then right after freaking twin fold whatever straight carnage strike rush they're dead now if i use ultimate again i can show you guys what i'm talking about in terms of doing even more damage can this get off my screen please Please help, help, okay, there we go. <laughs> When I was talking about Garo's ultimate, I was talking about how you can basically use ultimate after the down slam, and if they don't have ragdoll cancel, you can basically just disintegrate them when you slam down and does even more damage because you're doing an M1 combo and then a down slam and your ultimate. Now, the thing with Sonics, you can do the exact same thing, but if someone has ragdoll cancel, you can still pursue them. But if I use three M1s down slam and I immediately use ultimate, so I already did about 14%, right? If you're skilled enough to hit all of those little slashes, bro, almost half of this health gone. And if I hit all those slashes, it would have been even more. Let me see if i can actually do this so i can show you guys how op this whole ultimate is the whole ultimate just needs to go it's too overpowered like bro you you straight up cannot deal with speed of sound sonic the only way you can beat speed of sound sonic is if there's an incinerate here incinerate here incinerate here and incinerate there that is the only way to beat sonic effectively when he has ultimate just blast him on all angles pause he's at 57 let's see if we can kill him if we do three m1s a down slam and then we use ultimate so one two three down slam and then we use ultimate then i just turn around and how much okay that's very close though eight percent i don't know if i hit every single one but that is so much damage like that is so much damage plus you can hit multiple people with it there can be people fighting and you just use your ultimate and start slashing through both of them get them a haircut ball them take their mustache take the beard take everything literally disintegrate like, I, I don't think i could describe to you guys how good this ultimate really is or at least the activation like bro it's so fun to use and you get ultimate mad fast so you can just do this like twice every four minutes in the game twice every like four or five minutes that's not even about the ultimate activations i'm kind of just rambling garo is my main but i don't even know why i'm gar 
you get what I'm saying. But with that being said, that is every character's ultimate activation. Appreciate you guys for watching the video. Make sure to subscribe. And I still am doing the giveaways in the comment section. Actually, you know what? Right now, let's see who let's see who wins the giveaway right now. I'm gonna go to a video and we're gonna see who's winning right now. We're just gonna go to a random comment. Somebody's about to get a crazy shout out. Somebody's about to have a heart attack. If I go to the old Spooch channel, I'm gonna close my eyes. And I'm gonna just scroll and stop at a random point. Oh, it's Super Horror Bro 3. Fun fact, you can get your ult bar up by using Thunder Kick and missing on purpose in a large group. Three to five players can give you 30% of your ult. That's a crazy fun fact. We're gonna get your little gamer tag right here. Go back to Battlegrounds and what you want VIP. I got you. Copy paste. Yes, sir. That's my man Silver right there. Appreciate you for watching the videos. Appreciate the support. There you go with your VIP. So again, this is real. If y'all really want early access, VIP, cosmetics, kill sounds, a back massage, I don't care. Subscribe and let me know that you subscribe and I will make sure that you get whatever you want, except actually a back rub that's disgusting. But thanks for watching, subscribe, and click on this video right here.